What is going on guys? Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark. This is MacGyver Backpacking. And we are here in beautiful Hawaii. Waikiki. There's Waikiki Beach right behind me. Not the best day out. Not sunny. But, you know, the weather's still about 76 degrees right now. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I figured I'd come out here. I've got a new piece of coffee gear. I brought it down here with me. I've been using it. And so, figured we'd grind up some coffee and make a cup of coffee. But first I wanna show you guys what it is that I've got out here with me today. So, you guys saw me do the review on the Wakako Pippa Mocha. And I really like that one. It's like an immersion. And then you, you unscrew it and it pulls the, uh, the basket, the brew basket through the water. So this one is a little bit different. One of the cool things I like about this is it comes with this lid right here, screw on lid. And this fits on both this cup, this insulated mug that came with it, and the one that came with the Pippa Mocha. And this one actually has a drinking spout out of it. So you can actually drink out of it. It's a nice plastic. Uh, the way that the lip comes out is really nice for drinking out of. And then it, it actually snaps in there really nice. And so you end up with a nice sealed enclosure. So this is the cup of mocha. What you do is you twist it like this. It comes up, you put a filter in, you load it with your coffee, and it is a pour over system. So this one's a little bit different. Actually clean up on this is a lot easier because you're using a paper filter. At the end, after you're done, you just take the filter out, take it away, pull this off. You can throw the uh, portable lid on there. It's not gonna drip out and you can drink out of it. it comes with this cool little piece right here that you kind of set on your counter. When you take this off, you set this right on there. And it's got like a little recessed area that stuff will drip into if there's anything left in there. If you've still got the filter and coffee in there, it'll drip down and collect in here and not make a mess on your counter or anywhere. So really neat system. Uh, since I'm down here, I bought some Kona coffee. This is 100% Kona. I've been looking around. It's been hard to find. A lot of stuff is still closed down here. Uh, so I've got these. These are medium roast. It's the only medium roast I could find. Everything has been medium dark to dark. There is, I've got one more spot. It's down there that I think they've got Kona pea berry. It's really expensive, but I think it's light roasted. So I'm gonna go check that out a little bit later today. See what I can pick up. This is some private reserve Kona coffee, Royal Kona. Uh, and it's not bad. Even though it's a medium, it's not bad. I've got my 1Z Presso grinder. And so I'm gonna grind up some coffee and show you guys how this all goes together. Okay, so this came with some filters, but they were like some brown, uh, a little bit smaller than these filters. They, they fit in here really well, but the, the paper material was, I don't know, a little less porous than these. These are the Hario B60 ones. So I fold over the ridge, set it in there. I'm just gonna use some water. Uh, it doesn't have to be hot, just to rinse it out. And I'll rinse that, let that water drip down in there, not a big problem. Uh, so I ground up the coffee, and I've got it to a medium, not not super fine, not super coarse, just kind of a medium. And then I'll put it in here, and I'll kind of even the bed out and make a little bit of a divot right in the center of the bed. Uh, now, if you've ever watched James Hoffman, he's a dude from the UK, got a great coffee channel. The dude was a uh, world world coffee barista champion. Um, so knows what he's doing, knows what he's talking about when it comes to coffee, but he's got a video on his his technique for doing V60 and it seems to work really well. So that's what we're gonna be using today. We've got some water heating up inside. As soon as that comes to a, a good temperature, we'll go ahead and get this started. I'll talk you through it. All right, so I've got my hot water and I'm just gonna start pouring it in. I'm gonna pour in just a little bit to wet the grounds and let them sit for about 40 seconds or so to do the bloom. And what that is, is off-gassing. It's taking the CO2 out of the beans. So let's get that going. All right, so we've let that sit for about 40 seconds just so it can fully bloom. And now I'm just going to gently pour in the water. Once it's in, I'm gonna give it a nice little swirl just to kind of mix things up and uh, 
even out that bed so that it, the bed of grounds is nice and level down there at the bottom. And I'm just gonna keep pouring in water throughout this process. Now this one definitely flows with this Hario V60 filter. It flows a whole lot quicker. Uh, the problem was you're aiming for, you know, two to three minutes for a flow. I was getting like five and six minutes, no matter what brine size I went with, with the ones that came with it. So I went to this, went to a little bit coarser grind. Uh, it's actually flowing fast enough right now that I could probably go with a finer grind. I'm using 14 grams of coffee approximately, and then about eight ounces or so of water, enough to fill this up, and then adding water afterwards to, uh, to get it to the, the taste that I want. With it being a, a darker roast, a little bit more water for me puts it a little bit better. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the roasty, smoky notes, the tobacco-y, that type of stuff. Those aren't my, my type of notes. I like the more uh, vibrant, fruity, floral, type notes, those uh, those that are still there, the subtle notes that are still there with a light roast that kind of get overshadowed once you start going a little bit darker with the roast. So once it's pretty much done, it's still dripping right now, but you could take it off of here. If you were pretty much happy with how much you had in there, in order to keep from making a mess wherever you are, put it right on that little disc and now anything that's gonna drip is gonna drip into there. Uh, and so it's dripping in there right now. And I've got a nice cup of coffee here. It's probably gonna be a little hot. But even for a medium roast, that's not bad. Clean up with this, like I said, super easy. Just grab the filter, take the filter out. You can rinse this out, put it back in, everything collapses and it's ready to go. If I wanted to take this on the go, screw this on. I told you, it is not gonna leak. It is not gonna leak at all. When you're ready to drink it, pop that open, pull it to the side. Real nice to drink out of it. So guys, this is the Wakeko Cup of Mocha. Also the Pippa Mocha, if you take a link, take a look at the link up there, you'll see the link I did on the Pippa Mocha. Great, great coffee pieces. I mean, really pair these with the Nano Presso and you've got a, a nice array of products you can take on the go and have coffee anywhere you want. See where I am? This is where I'm enjoying a great cup of coffee. Thanks to having products like this that I can take with me. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. If you haven't done so before, go hit that subscribe button. When you do, right next to it, there'll be a little bell icon. If you hit that, you'll get notifications every time I post a video. All right, guys, I'll see you down the trail.